my sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. To all my new subscribers, welcome and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And as always, my rider dies. Y'all know, y'all right here. But today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you, as I promised. Most of this stuff is from the stores that I found Sunday after church. I've got piles and piles of stuff. I still have not shared my what I got for Christmas video. And I got to do my giveaway. It's just so much on my plate. And I just sit and chill and sit and chill. <laughs> but anywho, I wanted to get this haul out of the way. Because a lot of this stuff I want to use. Because I have been looking for it for a while. Y'all see I put my little football gnome down there for football season even though my team's all lost Ugh. but one team that I didn't like lost too so we're even Stevens but without further ado let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul okay my sweets the first thing is the Sunday paper now they do not sell the Sunday paper in any of our Dollar Trees down here in Henderson, as they say, but it's called Henderson. But when you're on the road, you can go up from Franklinton up, and all of them sell the Sunday paper. And I'm just absolutely stunned, stunned at the price of a Sunday paper and how small it is. Y'all remember when we used to get the Sunday paper and it'd be this thick with coupons and, and flyers and everything else? This is what the Sunday paper looks like now. And it is $5.99 regularly priced. Who in the world is paying $6 for a Sunday paper that looks like this? I mean, there's nothing. I mean, there's the comics in here. Thank God the Dollar Tree sells them for $1.25. And every now and then, I will pull the trigger and buy one just to see what's crack a lacking in here, which is nothing but I like to use the newspaper to wrap items when I ship out. The coupons were come see, come saw. You know, you got to buy so many to save 50 cents. Eh, never mind, okay? But I do still like the comments. But yeah, $5.99, you guys, for a Sunday paper. I can't believe they're even still in, in business. Because who pays that? Not me. But I just had to get that off my chest. Whew, that felt good because I was amazed. Typically, I will take the coupons out of there and send them to Issa because she does couponing with Issa because she does use them. But I like to accumulate, you know, several weeks. And since I get out of church every Sunday and I'm, they have the papers up there, I will spend that $1.25. Whew, okay. Got that off my chest. Got some Boro. I just got one roll of the Jot Cushion Wrap. Sometimes I'm sending out um, some, you know, delicates, and I just like to um, wrap it in the bubble wrap, and I couldn't find any. I couldn't believe I was out. So I only picked up one because I have newspaper and all other kinds of stuff to wrap the gifts in. So I just got one pack of those. And then I did find another pack of the um, the Satin Beauty pillowcases. I was trying to find another two because I really, really like these pillowcases, y'all. And when I'm washing the first set, I would like to put the second set on. But I was only able to find one so far. They look like this. These pillowcases are so nice, y'all. I'm like, um, the first set that I got, when I took it out of the bag, it was a little on the stringy side, but I just took the scissors and went nip, 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 you know, or snip, snip, snip. But it wasn't a deal breaker, and I washed them and dried them on low, and they were so nice to sleep on. Matter of fact, I'm still sleeping on them right now. I didn't open them the last time to show you guys how they go. They're nice and big. You put this in one end and then the other end, you know, and they are so silky, satiny, soft. So I did find one. I told Jackie that if she finds another one to hold it for me because that wasn't even in the right spot. And then I got a not so interesting. I bought these little foil pans with lids, nine inch pans to pass food over 
to my neighbor because typically I don't ever get my containers back from her, which is not a deal breaker. Don't get it twisted. But if there's something that I really, really like, I'm not going to package her food up in it. So these come in a two pack and I've already used one and they come with a little cardboard top. So if you see on my community page what I made for dinner, I took those um, chicken strips that I got from Aldi's the other day or yesterday and I cooked those up two days in a row. So yeah, I just got these and I will continue to purchase these so I can pass her her food over but be careful when they put them in a bag don't let them put it anything heavy because they get all crinkled up and bunched up so yeah they're very thin but these are thicker than some of the other ones that that i've um purchased okay Whew, let's see what's next i bought a couple more of my car mix it was time for me to get my classic um car mix and i'm already using one i seem to need one in every room that i'm in because this cold weather is, is so cold. It's got my legs cold. It's got my lips chapped. So, yeah, I bought two of those. Okay, even though I'm not eating anything like ice cream or anything right now, I did finally find, find some more of my... Oh, let me get the glasses, y'all, because some of this stuff I can't see. I told my sister today that my doctor said for me to wear my glasses all the time. And I walked out of my bedroom into my living room this morning and everything was so crystal clear. I was like, oh, <laughs> but I'm still stubborn. I forget. I got to form the habit of wearing my glasses all the time. But anyway, these are certified plus original dairy relief helps prevent gas, bloating and diarrhea. And, you know, when you're lactose intolerant and you eat ice cream or you drink a milkshake or something like that, even though I'm not indulging. But before I was, these are just like the dairies in Walmarts or any place else. But they're only $1.25, you guys. And you get 15 tablets. And they say you should take at least three. Yeah, serving size is three caplets. But I had two in my cart. But I put it back because I'm fasting right now. So I didn't think I would need them. And hopefully after my fast, I won't go back to the bad habits. I don't know, but I think this is a really good deal because they really, really do help. I mean, I really, I mean, they really work, you guys. So it's just a da um, dairy relief. So I got a thing of those because I was like, I couldn't find them anywhere here in my area. But when I got out of church Sunday and went to different stores, I found them. I think it was in the Nightdale and in the Raleigh store. Another item I found, which was new to me, and but I've been seeing them floating around on different channels. These are the iFly Smart um, candles. They, just the packaging alone is so cute, you guys. I did open them and examine them and smell them. <sighs> They're pretty. I didn't get any Zaza Zing from the fragrances. Matter of fact, I don't know what to say about them, but the, the packaging is so nice. It's like, I fly smart. It's these candles take me on a bucket list, worth, worthy vacation, one cent at a time. Somebody named Jamie from Florida. This one is Greek Getaway. Includes two candles. Net weight per candle is three ounces. And it says the notes are, let me see, uh, the perfect travel companion. 100% cotton wick, palm wax blend, approximately, approximately 12 hours of fragrance per candle. And I'm trying to find a sense. Um, doo -doo 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 I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm looking, overlooking it. Um, I know they, oh, okay, here we go. This is, the first one is, what is that? And I got my glasses on, y'all. And I don't know that word. My Cones Morning Light and Fluffy Vanilla Enriched with Notes of Honey. What does that say? My, I can't read that. And the second one is, oh, God, San, Bur San, Bur San, San Larini Sunset. Oh, my God, these names. This is Cool Mediterranean Ocean Breeze with Notes of Sandalwood. So they look like this. You get two candles per package. I found these in the Wake Forest store. 
on my way home and it was the only item I found in that store and I was so shook because that is one of my favorite favorite Dollar Trees but all of them like I told y'all before they ain't hitting on nothing right now they have this little clear um, piece of plastic in between the two and then they have a scan it says I fly smart scan me to alert my owner <laughs> So it has this little piece of tab in there behind the clear plastic. And <clears throat> I'm not sure if I smelled this one. This is the uh, San, San Lorini Sunset I Fly Smart. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very, very pretty. The packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. Y'all know I don't burn candles here, but I think these would be nice gifts. And um, do not turn to open its full. Now, this one smells pretty good. I must have missed this one because it smells really good. But I don't know what the throw is like. And it's got that one wick in it. Looks like that. Very, very pretty. Just the packaging alone would make such a nice little gift. And you just snap the cap back down. And this one says it's Maya Cones or My Cones Morning. My cones morning. If you guys can see that. And let's see what this smells like. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ooh. It's blue. Not my favorite, but it's still so pretty. It looks like that with the blue in there. And that's how the um outside of it looks. Very, very pretty. I don't know why they made it to the Dollar Tree, y'all, but, you know, I was like, you can't go wrong when you can get two for one. I love getting bonus anything, so it excites me. And I did buy all four of them, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know. They're just going to be gifts, you know. If I could put them in giveaways, I would love to put them in giveaways, you know, if the shipping's not too high, because they are a little on the heavy side, might have to take them out and separate them. I don't know. We'll see. But this one is Cabin Fever. Okay, and the notes on this is, this is called Frosted Forest, Crisp Pine with notes of spruce and mahogany. And the second one is First Fresh, First Frost, Sandalwood with notes of lavender and amber. I don't, oh, First Frost. Okay, so this one is Cabin Fever, and it looks like this. Cabin Fever. Aren't these packaging gorgeous? I mean, they get you right there just alone with the packaging. And then they have the green in there and the blue one. I'm not going to open all of them because this video would be way too long. And the third one I got was, uh, this is Pineapple Punch. Pineapple Juice Enhanced with Vanilla and Cocoa coconut milk that might smell nice and this one is on uh, the second one is island daiquiri ripe berries with notes of fresh lime oh these two might smell good but this is called tropical sunset so this one looks like this tropical sunset let's see if we can get that like that and they look like this these are pretty and you see the box tropical sunset isn't that cute so I did get all, like I said, they had four different ones and I got all four. This one's called Miami Moments. And the notes on this one is, uh, let me see, Sunshine Orange, Fresh Florida arrange, Arranges with notes of Tangy Lemon and Guava. And the second one is Watermelon, Juicy Watermelon with notes of Lemon Zest and Freshly Picked Strawberries. Ooh. That sounds good. So this one looks like that. Okay. And the packaging, like I said, they have it like you're on an island or something on vacation. And these are very, very pretty candles. But I'm not going to judge them first because I'm not going to burn them anyway. So it don't really matter. But those first, those second two that I opened, they were really, really nice. Okay. okay, when I first showed you guys these um, Gibson silverware, I had no idea they were fr um, from Bed Bath & Beyond until my girl Constance said it in her video. And I was like, I should have put it in my camera and Googled it, but I didn't. 
But I asked my older sister if she wanted them. And first she said no, but then she changed her mind and said yes. But I did go back and get another pack of the knives so she could have a set of six of all of them. The forks, the teaspoon, the tablespoon, and the knives. So I showed you these before. They got a lot, a lot of Bed Bath & Beyond stuff floating around out there. I've seen the heavy dishes on other people's channels. Not sure if I'm interested in those, but then again, if I find them, yeah, you know. Y'all know how it is, right? <laughs> so I did get another pack of the knives so she could have an even six. And a lot of the stores that I went to after church Sunday, they had their fun socks like in some of the most weirdest places. And I'm over there in the sock section looking for anything new or different. And um, I can't find anything. And then I go to cash out and they have a whole rack of socks right up in the front of the store. That was one store. Another store had them with the Valentine stuff. So it was pretty weird. But y'all know, <clears throat> I walk up and down the miles, every aisle in that store, and even backtracks before I walk out of that store. Because I'm not trying to miss nothing, okay? But I did find <laughs> I did find another pack of the Harry Potter um, six pack of the no show socks. I showed you guys these before. This is the only pack that they had left at that particular store. And this was at the Triangle um, Dollar Tree across the street from the Triangle Town Mall in Raleigh. And so these will be going in a giveaway because y'all know everybody likes the Harry Potter. I don't do the no show socks. And you get six different ones. So y'all seen these before. I showed them to you before. And then this was the one I found in the Valentine section. And this is perplexing because it's not even Valentine. It's Christmas, okay? I never saw these over the Christmas. I'm like, so where were they over Christmas? These are the Star Wars Mandalorian Crew Socks. They are in sizes 6.5 to 12. You get two packs. And on the first pair, it says, all I want for Christmas is... And then it doesn't complete the sentence, so I don't know what it says, but it has a little Christmas tag on it. Look at this, with the Mandalorian on it. I was like, and they had it in the Valentine section with all the Valentine stuff. So then you get the second pair with the red. It looks just like Christmas, right? I'm just going to hold, hold these over and gift them probably for Christmas. Or I may just send them out right now because who cares? If you wear them, they are a Disney product. I've seen so many different fun socks um, floating around on others' channels. And I'm hoping to find some of them. But, you know, I know exactly what stores sell socks. Those big stores, they don't have the socks. And if they do, they get wiped out immediately because I never find them there. But I did pick up two packs. Two packs of these Christmas, <laughs> all I want for Christmas, <laughs> of the Mandalorian. I was excited to find them. I don't care what nobody says. Y'all know I love me some fun socks, okay? And this one really excited me. And there's another one out there that I saw earlier on somebody's channel. And I hope that I find them. But these are the Sesame Street Crew Socks. Shoe size, six and a half to 12. And this has got <laughs> Groucho and... Um, What's the other one then? Oh, God, I done forgot. But on one pair, it says trash talker. <laughs> and on the other side, it says plays well with others. Is trash talker. Is, who is that, y'all? Is that Groucho or Ernie? Or who is who is this one? Because I done forgot their names. Y'all know I'm way past some Sesame Street age. But I used to love me some Sesame Street. But yes, I did find these, and I was excited when I found these, but this was the only one that I found, so I did pick up two of those as well, because y'all know, as I've already said, I love my fun socks. Okay, let's okay, my on. sweets. I think I first saw these cute little candle lanterns on Miss Laura's channel, LCR, and uh, more, and... They had these in black, and they had them in white. These are from Birch and Vine. I told y'all, they're sprinkling the Birch and Vine, you know, around. They're not just making that one display. They're sprinkling it all over. But I finally found these at one of the Dollar Trees in Raleigh. 
and it's the black they had the black and the white and i chose the black these things are so bright you guys look at that holy moly guacamole look at that <laughs> So I did purchase two for my patio for the summertime, and I was just excited to find them. I didn't know which ones I wanted, the black or the white, but I ended up going with the black because they were just too cute with that candle, as bright as it is. So I did get two of those. I'm on a kick with the claw clips and the headbands. I'm just like loving my headbands. They come in handy, especially when it's time for me to redo my hair. You know, oh, it's such an arduous task, <laughs> but it must be done, okay? This is a fashion mode, and it's a claw clip, and I found this right here in my local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road, and I've never seen anything like this before, and I thought it was just so cute. Look at that. I was like, okay, okay, I'm taking you. You're coming home with me because I do use these when I'm doing my hair to separate my hair and stuff, you know, and they come in handy sometimes. So I just thought it was so cute. I've never seen it before. And y'all know when I say something different or something new, I'm getting it. Okay. So I got that. And another thing that was different to me, I've never seen this color. I've had these soup mugs in my um, cabinets before and I donated them to my cousins my family and stuff like that but i i was like okay it's winter time it's soup time it's chili time i gotta get this because i've never seen this color before this is just the regular royal norfolk it's microwave and dishwasher safe but look at the color i've never ever seen the mugs come in this color before it's not the best done, and I had to pick through them because they all looked a little, I don't know. That's probably why they're at the Dollar Tree, but I just love this blue, y'all. Isn't that pretty? And I'm already sitting here looking at it going, chili. <laughs> Ooh, yummy, yummy chili. I mean, you could even use this for your tea or coffee, but me, I'm thinking soup when I see these big mugs like this. But I had to get that color. It was just too beautiful. Too, too beautiful. Okay. And the only thing that I've found recently in the... Oh, <laughs> sorry, y'all. <laughs> in the um, cleaning aisle, like the cleaning stuff, I just found this one load 20 mule team. I don't know what that means. Well, well okay. I see what it means. It's like it's strong. It's a 20 mule team of borax. This is laundry booster and multi-purpose cleaner. Helps remove stains, neutralizes odors. And y'all know, I just went back and bought me two more bags of that Brillo Basics because I absolutely love that stuff. But it was new. It was different. I had to get it and I will use it. Okay. It is a small little four ounce box, but it's heavy. It feels just like the stuff in the Brillo Basics. And yeah, it says laundry around the home. It says uh, pre-soak for laundry. It says bathroom. You can use this in your bathroom. Sprinkle 20 mule team borax on a damp sponge or cloth and wipe on shower tub tile. 20 mule team borax removes soap scum, deposits dirt and mildew. And it's by a company called Hinkle. Hinkle Corporation's out of Rocky Hill, Connecticut. And I've never seen that at the Dollar Tree before. So I just grabbed one because I knew I had already brought the um, Brillo Basics. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it. I can't really smell it. It's like one load, 20 mules. So this one box is, a, is one load. I guess that's what they're saying. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. You know, especially for my towels and stuff like that. And I finally found some of the new um, shipping tape. This is Extra Tough, Ultra Strong Shipping Expedition Packaging Tape. Um, it's 55 yards, and it says it's new. Super clear, transparent, heavy-duty, robusto. And I finally found some of those. I had four in my cart, but I took two out. I said I don't need four right now. I got some packing tape if for two for right now, and hopefully maybe next year sometime my store will get them, you think? Maybe they'll put them out if they already have them. I don't know. Everything's the same every day. It's like 
uh, what is that movie? <laughs> What is that movie with Bill Murray? Oh, my God. It's like deja vu every day. It's the same thing, you know. But I was happy to find these on the road. And they do say new. And it's packaging tape. And it's 55 yards. So I did get two. I found these down in Odessa's, um, the new route, the new um, Dollar Tree, all the way down on Capitol Boulevard um, with the red lettering on it. <laughs> So I was happy. I'm kind of kicking myself. I feel like I should have gotten all four like I had in my cart from the beginning. But, you know, I didn't. Okay. okay. I'm trying to think which store it was that I found the different newer. Oh, it was the Dollar Tree on New Bern and New Hope Avenue in Raleigh, North Carolina. I finally found some new or different Hot Wheels. I've been on a hunt forever, but this one is called Mod Speeder, and it just looks so retro to me. I really wanted this one. This is definitely going into my collection. All three of these are mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I said it. All three of these are mine, okay? I got the Highway Modified Mod Speeder. It, this is one of ten, and I just love this car, especially because it said Hot Wheels on it. And look at it. It's so retro. Look at that. Can y'all see that? And y'all know I try to calm myself down with these Hot Wheels. I have gave away so many, you know, in the, over the Christmas holiday to the kids and stuff. But I just thought it was so nice. I had to have it. So I bought that one. $1.25. You just cannot go wrong. I know they say Walmart has some for just a dollar. But I don't like Walmarts, okay? I just don't. And when I go to Walmart's, I don't even think about Hot Wheels. But anywho, I digress. <laughs> this one, I really, really wanted. And this was the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. This is the highway screen time. This is 4 of 250. Whoa. It doesn't have a date on it, but it's just a Star Trek one. Isn't that neat, y'all? Kirk, beam me up. I'm like, oh my God, I love that. Look at that. It is the Star Trek one. I was like, oh my goodness. Highway screen time. Two, oh, back here it says two of ten. Okay. But up here it says um, four of 250. Can y'all see that? This is four of 250. But yes, Star Trek. That is definitely going into my collection. I couldn't stop staring at it. I was sitting on line. I was standing on line waiting to cash out, and I just kept on looking at it and checking it out. I almost want to open that package because it's so neat. But anyway, the last item before what you saw in the thumbnail is I've never seen. This is my first time seeing this um, Hot Wheel. This is Monster High Hot Wheel. It is highway screen time. It's called Monster High Ghoul Mobile, and it's one of ten. I was like, oh, I don't care what you are. Purple, pink, all this luscious green. You coming home with me, okay? <laughs> this is what she looks like, y'all. Look. Look at that car. That is so neat, and it's Monster High. And it says this one is one of ten, so... Hopefully, I can get the whole collection, but if I don't, I don't care. I got this one, and I was ecstatic. I was like, we need some new Hot Wheels. They got all these Mattel ones, or the, what are the other ones? I can never remember those because I don't look at them. But the Hot Wheels are the ones that I go for, but it doesn't even say new, y'all. I mean, like, when have we ever had Monster High Hot Wheels? But it doesn't. It doesn't say new on here anywhere. Munster High Ghoul Mobile. One of ten. And I was so shook. I thought, sure, it was going to say new, but it really doesn't. But I just thought it was so darling. Okay, coming up, the last few things in the, um, the last things you saw in the thumbnail. And that was these two anime coloring books. I did buy three, but two of them are the same, so I'm going to take one back and exchange it. I've got the receipts right here. But these are for my niece for her birthday gift in, in, um, next month. And I got her the anime dolls. So I was like, these are cute. 
These are by Crown Jewels. This is the anime coloring book, 24 uh, fun images. And look at that purple hair, y'all. That just pulled me right in on the pink background. I just thought it was so cute. And it is by Crown Jewels. And on the back, it just says, Anime Coloring Book, 24 awesome images for you to color and share with your friends. Women owned. And you open it up, and it has nice little um, diagrams of the anime dolls or the characters. And I just thought it was so nice. I said, maybe ZZ, oh, you know, like this. So I got this one. And I thought they had three, and they may have, because y'all know how loopy I get when I get in the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to go back tomorrow and check if it's not snowing here. Because, hi, y'all, it's so cold out there. You don't even want to go out there. Uh, I know I don't. And this one is Manga Coloring Book. And this is Manga Coloring Book, Master the Art of Manga. And this is a Hinkler Explorer. Yeah, it's by Hink another Hinkler um, item. What was the other item I had from? Oh, the socks. So this one looks like this. And it kind of reminds you of the anime ones. And I just thought it was so cute. It says, create a wonderful world of Technicolor with the manga coloring book. Relax and enjoy the calming practice of coloring within these 64 pages of unique artwork. Inside, you'll find dozens of images to color while you embrace your inner artist. This is not um, a Crown Jewels. This is a Hinkler item. So they have all these nice little um, illustrations in here. And I just thought they were so cute. Dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, y'all. Get you some. If your kids like to color, you know, if you like to color, because I would do this if I had the time. Or the patience. I used to love to color. I used to love to do a lot of things, y'all. <laughs> Aging is no fun. If anybody ever tells you it is, they're lying to you. Because when you get old, honey, there's a big, big uh, difference. But that is it for today. I have more stuff, y'all. But if I showed it to you, this video would go on and on and on. So we'll save it for the next haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video out if you care to. Let people know I'm out there so I can get in the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Thank you.